Dear Mr. Connor, the Lanford Board of Education invites you to share your career skills with our students. <laughs> if you are interested, la da 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 da. Doesn't say anything about skipping Spanish class. Well, I guess that makes me a moron. I guess so. Hi. Darlene, you're wearing my shirt. Get off my back. I got bigger problems. Why? What's going on? Career day at junior high. They want Dad to come down and speak. Oh, bummer, Darlene. <laughs> he wouldn't do it. He's too cool. That's me. Ice D. Too cool for school. You know what kind of makes me mad about this whole thing? Is how come it's just like automatically made out to you and not me? Well, honey, I am the professional in the family. All right. I forgot about your master's in drywalling. <laughs> you know the real reason, Dan. It's just because you're a man. Oh, God, she's going feminist on me. <laughs> you know what? Like, I'm not good enough for their little junior high school career day, you know? Like some housewife doesn't have anything important to say. Well, it's an outrage, Mom. I mean, I say you go down there and you show them how tough your job really is. Well, maybe I will. <laughs> Thank you, Becky. <laughs> well, maybe next time you'll keep your grubby little paws off my stuff. What is your problem? Are you embarrassed of your mother? Don't get offended, Mom. I'm just as embarrassed of Dad. <laughs> I think we ought to go on a field trip. <laughs> well, I think that is a great idea. So why don't you kids all get permission from your parents to spend an afternoon with Mrs. Connor? <laughs> Now, wasn't there some boys in this class? They didn't want to come. Yeah, they think shopping is a girl thing. Oh, well, get used to that. Can you get this over with, please? Come on now, Darlene, this can be fun. Here, honey, you can ride in the seat. So, all right, there we go, cornflakes, girls. The most important ingredient in tonight's entree. Why do we need that? Well, how else do you think we're going to turn two pounds of ground beef into 11 pounds of mouth-watering meatloaf? <laughs> and the leftovers stay crunchy in milk. All right, suck up. Hand me a box there. Oh, nay. That's the name brand. <laughs> Here, Meryl. Bon appetit. <laughs> We have to go for the generic. Why, it's nothing but second best for our family. Wait a minute. My cereal at home is the name brand. No, see, it's just a name brand box. And I've been refilling it with the cheap stuff <laughs> since 1985. I mean, I've been eating generic Frankenberries. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to find out this way, sugar. <laughs> So anyways, all right, we got our hamburger, we got our cornflakes, we got our potatoes. I say we roll, huh? Well, what about a vegetable? Ketchup. <laughs> well, girls, this is some of what you're going to be feeding. Are you sure we bought enough? What are you doing out here? Well, I just wanted to tell you that I learned something kind of important today. Your job is important and it's tough. So I'm going to make a lot of money or I'm going to marry a rich guy so I don't have to do any of it. Ah, uh, the student surpasses the teacher, grasshopper. Oh, God, not meatloaf again. It's ready. 